everyone and welcome to video three of the Lunchbox series. I've got a really delicious Lunchbox plan for you today, so let's jump in. Okay, so for the main lunch component of our Lunchbox, we're going to be making a sandwich. So for the sandwich, you will need some bread. You can use whatever type of bread you would like. If you don't have any bread and you wanna make this into a wrap, that's totally fine. You can use a wrap as well. So I've got some bread here. I've got some turkey, which you can just get from any deli. I've got some cranberry sauce. Turkey and cranberry go oh, so well together. I've got some Jarlsberg cheese. Now this cheese, oh, it takes me back to my childhood. So delicious. My sister and I, whenever we would go to my grandparents' house, we would always eat Jarlsberg. And oh, oh, so good. <laughs> So we need that and also some fresh spinach leaves. Now, if you have lettuce, normally I would actually use lettuce in this sandwich, lettuce and alfalfa, but I don't have any today. So I'm just gonna use these beautiful fresh spinach leaves. We have some pretzels. So I'll just take a handful of pretzels out of this bag and pop into my lunchbox shortly. I have bought in bulk, obviously to save on money, but also to save on packaging. We have some fresh, beautiful, fresh celery. So I'm going to cut that up and I'm going to pop some cream cheese with it. This combo is so delicious and I used to eat it all the time when I was a kid. Um, celery and peanut butter also go really, really well together. Like, I'm not kidding, it's really delicious. Um, but you do need to be careful with peanut butter in schools. So we're gonna do cream cheese today. We also have some cherry tomatoes, a beautiful banana, and some freshly washed strawberries and blueberries. Okay, so we're gonna start by making our sandwich. So I'm going to fit my sandwich into this larger component of my lunch box. So let's start by getting two slices of bread. the side. Now the first thing we're going to do is lather, slather, not lather, <laughs> slather, um, some cranberry sauce onto one piece of bread. So, just like so, oh, delicious. There is a reason why at Christmas time when we have turkey, we always have like some sort of um, cranberry sauce to go with it because the combo is just so good. You just can't have turkey without cranberry. So I've popped, I've slathered one side of the bread with some um, cranberry sauce. I'm going to pop. Hmm. Two, maybe two slices of the turkey, like so. Then I'm going to pop some, cut up some of my Jarlsberg. Might need a bigger knife than that one. And we're just going to cut some thin slices. Now, Jarlsberg does have this sort of um, like it's not really a wax, this rind on it, so you can easily just peel it off. I might cut one more slice. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It literally reminds me of when I was a little girl. Okay, so. Next, we're going to put on some beautiful fresh spinach leaves. Like so. Top it with my other piece of bread. If you wanted to put some more cranberry sauce on the other slice of bread, you totally can. And now, let me see. I don't know if I will fit triangles, so I might cut it in half 
link ways. And then we've got yum. How good does that look? All right, now let's pop this in here. I might need to squash it a little bit. By all means, if you are someone who does not eat your crusts, you can cut your crusts off as well. Okay, that just fits in there. Phew. All right, these things can go to the side. All right, next we will, let's maybe do our celery. We'll get the hard, hard parts out of the way first. So, yeah, perfect. All right, so I have cut, out of the one stalk of celery, I've cut two little halves. Okay, so I'm going to open up my cream cheese. And I'm literally going to pop it in the little groove of my celery stick, like so. Exactly like that. And then that can just go straight into my lunchbox, like that. It is so delicious. Now, if you're someone who doesn't really like celery, um, this may be a good way for you to just kind of get into liking celery. Otherwise, feel free to pop in some little mini cubes um, or some carrot sticks or some snow peas, something like that. You don't have to. You can easily substitute any of these things out um, if there's something you can't or don't want to eat. Um, now, I don't actually think we will fit that one in, but that's okay. We'll pop him to the side. I've got a nice little... These little cherry tomatoes are actually sort of quite big, so I might just fit them in one of those containers like that. Um, let's do the strawberries. So, I'm going to very carefully just cut the green parts off the strawberry. Try not to cut too much of the strawberry off, otherwise you will waste it. I'm cutting my strawberries in half, and then with the flat side of the strawberry, I'm gonna place that down on the board and then cut it in half again. So now I have these beautiful quarters, which I'm going to pop in my lunchbox like so. Do one more. Whenever we are chopping fruits or vegetables that are um, circular, we always wanna create a flat surface first, um, which makes it much easier to cut, much more sturdy. Got a handful of blueberries, which I'm going to pop in there. And my banana, I don't think I'm going to use the whole banana, because I don't know that I will have room, but by all means, if you um, do have room, or if you want to take the whole banana, you absolutely can. Then I'm just going to slice him into slices <laughs> and then those little slices will fit in there as well now remember we did talk about a couple of weeks ago in the first video that when um <laughs> when fruits and vegetables that normally have a skin on them when they're cut open they do start to go brown if they're not eaten straight away and that's because of the um, oxygen coming into contact with the flesh. So the banana may very well go brown by the time I come to eat this, but it's still totally fine to eat and I don't really think it tastes any different. But if you wanted to kind of preserve the color of it, you could um, squeeze just a little bit of lemon juice over it. Now for my pretzels. Here we are and they will just fit in that little circular section, container in the middle, and I might even get to fit a couple of extras down the sides. It's very much like playing Tetris. <laughs> and there we have it, our beautiful fresh lunchbox. We've got all sorts of different colors and textures and flavors and needless to say i'm incredibly excited to eat this lunch box <laughs> thank you so much to each and every one of you for joining us here for our lunch box series
series. This will be our third and final video for our lunchbox series for now. We may make some more down the track. So if you did enjoy them and if you did find them helpful, please let us know. Hit the like button or you can send us a message or an email at heartylittlekitchen.com.au. We always love hearing from you. And for more delicious recipes and lunchbox ideas and things that you can make at home from scratch, you can also find all of that at heartylittlekitchen.com.au. But thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure to bring you these videos and I'm sure I will see you all again soon. Bye!